That's fine. It's okay. All right, we're joined by 200 meter freestyle champion Katie Ledecky, her second uh, event of the week. Uh, Katie, you want to get, just give a brief comment about making the team in, an, in another event? Uh, yeah, it felt really good to get my hand on the wall first tonight. I knew it would be a tough race, so I just wanted to get the job done. Um, it was a really fast field, um, pretty close friends with all those people in that heat, so um, I think it was, it was just a great race, and I know we're all looking forward to the relay in Rio, and um, Missy and I will have the individual to look forward to as well. All right, we'll start right up here. Hey. Thank you. Hi, um, congratulations. Thank you. Um, can you talk about the 200, 400, and 800 in Rio? And, you know, people are talking about you doing what Debbie, what hasn't been done since Debbie Meyer in 1968 and kind of the historic implication. And if that is even going to be a stretch for you. Um, I don't think it's a stretch, swimming those events. I've swum them numerous times at different meets and at World Championships last year. Swimming the 200 through the mile uh, was great preparation. and take the mile out and um, throw some relay duties in. And um, it's, I think, setting me up well for a good meet. Um, obviously, I still have a lot of racing left this week and um, taking nothing for granted and just going to race hard the rest of the week and try to improve between uh, the end of this meet and, and Rio and get ready for some fast swimming there. So as a follow-up, are you then more chasing Shane Goulds? Uh, you know, I, I don't think about who I'm chasing or any of the historical implications or anything. That's, that's your job. My job is to swim fast in the pool and um, do the best that I can. Karen. Katie, you had talked afterward about what a tough cookie Missy is, but what was it like for you to see Allison make that? Yeah, um, Allison too. I'm, I'm really proud of her and how... She's come back firing, and um, I can't wait to be on a relay with her. I've, I haven't been on a relay with her yet, and I think it's, it's just going to be great. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with um, the team that's, that's coming together right now, and I think we're all just going to have a lot of fun. Hey, Katie, um, you were asked out there about in the mix zone about the, um, the world record in the 200, and, and you said that you know, you know what it is. Uh, so you're obviously aware of it. Do you, do you have any sense of like what it would take for you to get into the 152s in that, or, or to take aim at that, um, and and what sort of you know time frame that could take you to to get that fast? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think as I said out there, the, the biggest thing this year is just racing uh, with that event. It's such a fast race. So many people um, that have been 154s this year. Um, but then again, last year showed that it, you know, it, it could just be about racing and the time doesn't really matter. The time wasn't that fast last, last year. I was 155-1 to win it. Um, so it's, it's mostly about racing. Yeah, I'd like to go faster, um, but I think the racing will take care of the time this year. Brent. Uh, Katie, uh, you're seated fourth in the, in the 100 free. And uh, that, if that goes well, you'll be on the 400 free relay in that regard. But it looks like all your races, you're taking them out like you're preparing yourself for the 100 free. <laughs> it, it, yeah. The, it, uh, <laughs> we were walking back here, and Bruce is like, come on, the clock's ticking. I have 12 hours to teach you how to swim 100 free. But um, I think I've shown him this week that I have a little bit of speed. And um, I, I think I'm ready for the 100 tomorrow. Um, should be, again, great racing, um, a lot of fun. Then I have the 800, so I'm um, just taking one event at a time. Hi, Katie. I'd like to know if you had a strategy for the 200, and which one was it? Uh, it was just go out fast and <laughs> bring it home fast. Um, I mean, I, I've swum it differently. I I feel like uh, a couple times, but I'm sure the splits have been pretty much the same the couple times I've been 154. So um, it, it's it's all about racing. It's it's just about getting out there and then getting your hand on the wall first or second, um, or in the case of the 200, first through sixth. 
Um, so that was the main goal in the race, and um, there wasn't anything really specific beyond just going out and racing it. Uh, what do you remember last year, uh, the final in Kazan uh, against Federica Pettigrin? For you in uh, in Rio, it will be the same uh, race. Yeah, I mean it'll it'll be some of the um, some of the same faces, um, plus or minus a couple t a, c a couple swimmers. Um, so I think I just I just need to be ready for anything, and uh, everybody swims the race a little differently. But um, at the end of the day, I'm sure it'll come down to the last 20, 25 meters. Uh, last five meters who can get their hand to the wall first. So um, I'm really looking forward to swimming against a, a terrific field in, in Rio, and it should be a, a really great race. Four, no. Four years ago, as you were watching all the events fold in London before yours, could you have imagined that you would be in a relay at the in next Olympics? Uh, yeah, I could. I mean, I, I, that was a goal of mine. Uh, one of my first goals after London was to make make the relay in Barcelona at Worlds, and then obviously each year um, you always want to requalify for that relay. So um, yeah, just just watching all the races in London, I was inspired by all of my teammates and wanted to to get in there and race. And it's pretty cool now that. I'll be a lot, a lot busier um, in Rio and um, won't get the opportunity to cheer that much in the stands, but um, I know I'll still be inspired by everybody else and uh, it, it should be a great team, great meet moving forward. Katie, now that you are the, the most dominant woman in swimming in the world, and um, are you prepared or are you willing to make a a demand or a statement that they bring the 1500 to the women as an Olympic event? Um, I'd love the, them to. <laughs> um, I, I just swim whatever they have in the meet. Um, I don't know how much of a say I'd, I'd be able to have on that. I think the one thing is just with the history of the 800 that the 800 should still be in, in the Olympics and they should add the 1500 for the women and the 800 for the men. But um, Again, all I'm focusing on is the races I have in front of me this week and, and then in Rio. Um, and obviously, it's not going to change before Rio. So um, I mean, honestly, I think just having the 800 has allowed me to focus um, a little more on the, on the 200 and the 100. So you, know, you, you take it where you can get it. All right. Katie Ledecky will be in the 100 free tomorrow morning, the first event of the morning. Thank, Thank you. you.